Okay, just to finish repairing this uh, charger, it would have, was a bit of pain to troubleshoot because everything's so tight. Uh, so, lessons learned for the leg for the next time. Uh, remove the four smaller screws here that hold the plastic PCB standoffs here. What I did at first was uh, re just um, release them and try and lift the board out sideways. It, it worked, but uh, it's really tricky to get out of this uh, stud here that holds the the button PCB on the front panel. So what I would do next is, yeah, remove those four corners, move the PCB backwards, uh, remove this stupid PCB, and then you can get proper access to the main board. The damage on this was uh, the fuse had blown. It had blown two copper traces, which is kind of un unusual. So one right next to this fuse, another one closer to these uh, this. These four diodes, uh, this is a bridge rectifier, the main, the main one. Uh, two diodes were shorted, and for good measure, one of these two capacitors uh, was a very high ESR and um, low capacitance. So, I think it's good. Now, one thing to note is to troubleshoot this, you kind of need a lead acid battery, or if you don't, uh, I have just a, a heater element from a water heater that's not enough to turn it on it needs to detect around 10 volts on the output so what I did was uh, rig my power supply to well, it's actually a bit lower six volts apparently will do it and the 250 ohm resistor just so uh, I don't feed too much power back into the power supply so one one quick uh, contact just to get 12 volts in here that'll turn on the output relay here and then once it's on the green LED will turn on and at it's standby you can have nothing connected on the output that's just fine and then you can swing this on uh, your external load and then you can test it.